In this video, we'll be showing you how to run multiple Docker containers of the same image while exposing them on different ports. Running the same image on separate containers accessible on separate ports is helpful when you want to distribute a workload or if you want to have two diverging versions of the same image, perhaps with different configurations or environment variables. Uh, first, let's look at the basic docker run command and see what options we have for port mapping. And as you can see here, we have two options for mapping ports. Um, you would think that dash p would stand for port, but it doesn't, it stands for publish, and it will take a list of ports that you wish to publish. Um, you could also use a uppercase p or dash dash publish all, which will publish um, all exposed ports um, that the Docker image has uh, specifically said to expose, and it will publish them onto random ports, um, which is helpful for quick testing, but not terrible practical. What we would like to do is use the publish list and publish on specific ports. And we're going to do that by running a simple hello world uh, website and curling the results. So let's get started. Let's do a Docker run and we'll run in detached mode and we'll use the rm command to remove the container once it closes. Now, when running multiple um, images using different containers, it's good to actually give it a unique name um, that you know up front. And here we're gonna use just web one and we're gonna publish with a lowercase p and map port 8000 on our local machine to port 8000 on the container. And we are going to use the CRC check hello world application, which just exposes uh, a simple website on port 8000. Once that's up and running, we could check on its status with Docker PS. And we could see here that it's up and is currently starting. But what's interesting is we see our port mapping. We got 0.0.0, .0 which is the IP address of a local machine. And it is on port 8000, which is then mapped to the port 8000 on the container using TCP IP. Now you'll notice when we ran our run command, we only specified the ports that we wanted and Docker filled in localhost and TCP IP. You could overwrite these yourself uh, if you want to map to a specific um, network adapter or use like UDP, for example. Um, but for the most part, you'll be using just the basic commands. Okay, so we should check on our, on our container and see that it's up. It is now up and healthy. So we should be able to curl localhost port 8000 and get back our website. And we do. So our website is a simple hello world with uh, ASCII art of the Docker whale. So now we want to run the same thing. However, we need to give it another unique name so that we could tell the difference between the two. Let's just use web two. And now instead of mapping to port 8000, let's map to our local port 80, which is a standard TCP uh, HTTP port. Um, since the container and the image only expose port 8000 locally, we need to keep this section of the command as, um, as is, or else it won't go to the correct port on the container. And we can see that it is now running. So we have web two and web one. We could curl our old web one on port 8000. And we should also be able to uh, now curl our web two on port 80, which we do, and we get them both back. Now, typically in a production environment, you would then 
put each of these websites behind a reverse proxy and be able to access them on specific paths. But that's for another time. Thanks.